Hello, welcome pen friends. I'm super excited about a new little accessory for the fountain pen hobby, the Cola Ring Dipper. And so I ordered one and I wanted to share it with you, you know, show you what it's like and we'll, we'll take a good look at it. But we're all probably real familiar with the original, the um, Cola Ring ink testing book and it's uh it's made or designed by the well-appointed desk anna there and i did order mine directly from them but this is much smaller and easier to dip in the ink bottles and uh it's got 50 sheets and it's the same it's the 160 gsm let's see we'll get on the back of this one too yeah it's the same paper and it ends up being uh one inch by two and a half inches but we'll look at the metric uh this the little one is one inch by two and a half and the larger one was two by four so um those of you who know me um, well, i really want to show you how it compares in size so we're going to keep these everything out here i use lots of these i've i've lost track how many that i've had <laughs> but i i'm thinking probably five and I'm almost finished with the last uh, one that I got. And I have them in all of my different uh, ink families. And I have a dedicated ring for my full bottles, my Birmingham inks, and then one in each. Uh, well, I break it down into a smaller section uh, for each of my color groups so that I can really keep track of things. But this really appealed to me. The size is so nice and small. And uh, even if I don't always dip, this one I did. I dipped it right into this purple ink, the Sitz Kruznock, um Dark Orchid. And it worked really great. And I actually hung it the same way I hang my <laughs> little... Uh, chromatography test just to let it dry because then I thought oh I don't want to lay it down on the thing so I just let it hang to dry but it didn't take long anyway and I probably you know I just got so excited I did it real fast so um, let's try to go ahead and compare the size I'll put everything in the description box too but just so that you can really see how it compares whoops So it's, it's half what the, the other width is, it looks like. And it's, of course, a little shorter. But it's just, for me, some of the tight spaces that I like to put my indexes, um, one place is inside these little uh, boxes, uh, the, the little shell boxes. This is going to be so much easier for me. And I'll probably need to get a bunch more of these little, uh, I have a whole bunch from when I had dog tags, but I'll need several of those so that I can make my separate little uh, things, you know, as I go along. But I like the smaller a lot better for that, for going into the tight spots like that. But let's see, I promised we were going to measure it in a, in a centimeters too, so... Let's do that. So width-wise, looks like, well, let me just measure this one because it's going to be easier. I'm absolutely sure. Okay, so it's six and a half centimeters by just a little more than two and a half. So that's, that's really good. And like I said, it's uh, one inch uh, wide by two and a half inches long. Um, and I think either way, if you, um, here's an empty ink bottle, because I'm not really sure exactly which ones I want to swatch yet, but I have some very specific separate collections I'm doing. So whether you want to just, you know, fold it and dip it in your bottle like that, it's a certainly easier than the large one. Now, people have been doing that with the large ones. You know, all you have to do is just kind of curl it. That's fine. You can still do that with the larger cola ring. But it's just a lot easier with this size. You're going to get in and out of there a lot easier. And most all of the bottles. That looks like it needs a little <laughs> more cleaning. I had cleaned this recently. So um, this has 50 pages, 50 sheets, 160 GSM, 100 pound paper, printed at Skylab, letterpress, designed by the well-appointed desk, manufactured in Kansas City, Missouri, USA. So... I am just super excited about this, and I thought you might like to see it. Um, these are the little, uh, I call them dog tag holders, but they're just the little uh, oh, chain, kind of chain things. I wear, actually wear crystals on larger chains like that. Um, let's see if there's anything else I'm forgetting. They're $5 each, and there's 50 sheets, like I said. These come with 100. I've got 
only what I've got in full bottles on this ring here. So I love everything they make. I actually haven't tried everything yet. There's a larger one that I wanted to try just as kind of a, a fun kind of project. And then, like I said, I have all my Birmingham's on a separate ring. I seem to lose these, but I've got these all over the place. The cardboard part, <laughs> they're, they're around here. I'm just like a mad scientist with all these little drawers. So um, this will probably be a short video because what is there to say except, you know, I'll link down below where you can get them. And I did pay for this with my own money. I, I'm not sponsored or anything like that. But I just wanted you to see these because as soon as I saw it on Instagram, I knew instantly it was a match for kind of something that I wished that I had had, which was a smaller sort of a... Uh, indexing system in some cases not in every case I like having my full bottles on a ring hung up above where I are you know right beside my ink uh, shelf but for many of the smaller collections like special colors and whenever I was doing ink flight which I may go back to that's something that I'm you know I really want to have my stock just right on ink samples before I would go back to subscribing. But back when I was, I would have loved having the seven inks done this way because it's nice and small and it would go right in my little baggie with the seven inks that I was studying. And you guys have seen how I do it on the channel. I, I like to keep everything together and nothing against this. This is just a lot larger. So it takes up more real estate, you know, for someone who's working with a lot of different sets. Like right now I'm working with Twisby. And so I'm going to make all of the uh, standard line and I'm going to do the six, uh, 1791 Twisby colors on these small ones too. So I'll probably use the 50 up pretty quick, but hopefully this helps you, um, kind of at a loss of what else to say about it it's just really a quality product just like the larger one only in a smaller size uh, there is a difference that the edges aren't rounded but I think that works to its advantage you know um, it's it's straight so it's just gonna go right down and you know <laughs> I haven't labeled this one yet because I was looking at my uh, pens and we had a uh, real fine fine tip uh, ballpoint pen that ran out of ink just yesterday I think that we kind of share amongst ourselves my husband and I so that would be one thing I've got to write a lot smaller right here but uh, usually I just my oversized writing is you know on here and and that doesn't matter to me at all as long as I have a fine enough point that is a um, a ballpoint or a permanent like my micron zero one if I can find it <laughs> that's that's a day in the life around here so let me know what you think and I just think this was a really cool idea and I think it's going to be a really nice uh, addition to the the hobby I love the size and the little tiny <laughs> hole there that's interesting <laughs> That's the difference in the size. It's a really small hole there. That's cool. Anyway, I'm, you can tell I really like it and uh, just wanted to share with you what was out there. So I'll give you all the links I can find and I hope you're having a great day. Oh, under 10 minutes? That's amazing for me. Okay, bye for now.